Excuse me. Are you silly goose? Are you a silly goose? Well, we found out that our goldfish makes a fun maraca sound. Hey guys, I hope that's not too loud because she just decided and found out that her goldfish little snack container makes a lot of noise when you shake it around and it's fun. Um, it's Saturday, it is just after one and we are driving to my mom's house. I know we're not supposed to be communicating, not communicating, we're not supposed to be seeing people, but I made more cookie kits and Every one that bought one um, is from my mom's neighborhood or like one of her friends, so I have to bring them to her. I made six more. So in total, I think I've made 23? Okay, so I made nine the first time. Eight, 17, yeah, 23. So I made 23 kits, $25 a kit. I made some good cash in that side hustle, man. This is a fun side hustle. I don't mind doing this one. I am just now trying to decide what to do with that money. Do I put it away? Like, do I save it? Or do I put it toward a credit card? Or do I potentially buy a new mixer with it? Because my mixer that I have, it's a KitchenAid. I don't even know if you can probably can't it's in the back seat right now because my dad's gonna look at it it was my grandmother's um, so my dad's mom's KitchenAid mixer it's one of the lift ones and it's I mean I'm gonna call it vintage because it's at least I, I don't know how old it is I'll have, I guess I have to look at the serial number or something and or the model number and figure out when it was made but um, I'm gonna call it vintage anyway uh, the motor every time I like do it above a very slow stir it sounds like it's on its last life so I'm just like waiting for it to stop working and I keep imagining it's gonna happen as I'm mixing like the last batch that I need or icing or something like that so anyway I'm bringing it with me and my dad's gonna look at it and see if he can figure out what the deal is oh I didn't bring my mm, um, yeah, so if I need to buy a new mixer, that would be a great use of that money. And it's only going to be like a, a mixer, what, I think is around 300 You'll probably get it on sale somewhere. So it's a little more than half of what I made. Um, yeah, I am really happy with this side hustle, let me tell you. So, on the way, I just put this on and it's a drastically changed color already. Um, I can't believe gas is $1.73. That's insanity. So crazy. Um, oh my gosh, have y'all noticed already that the black fades are back? Oh, I love these sunglasses so much. I used to have these sunglasses in the normal size pair, which they're massive, and looking back at the pictures, I'm like, holy cow, those were really large sunglasses. Um, and then I got the minis, and then Leanne, her sunglasses were like on beyond the last leg, like beyond. So I had to step in, and I said, here, please wear these. <laughs> and so I gave her my, my other pair, my original pair of my Black Fade minis, and I've been without them ever since because I was waiting for a sale. They were never going on sale. They were um, a collaboration with Desi, I don't know her name. I think it's Perkins, I don't know. I don't watch her channel, I'm not subscribed to her. I have no idea who she is. I just enjoy the look of these. So she had collaborated with Key, it's Q-U-A-Y, and um, these frames never went on sale. I don't know if it's because she was greedy or what, but never went on sale. And now her contract, I believe, has ended with them. So um, I wanted to get them. I was waiting, waiting, waiting out. I was not going to spend whatever they were, like 60 something dollars. Um, 
and Black Friday came along and it was I think buy one get one free or Cyber Monday and then I waited I told you all about it on my Instagram and then I waited too long and they sold out so I was like nope I'm gonna stick to my principle and I'm gonna not buy them when they're not on sale well they were I think I recently had like a 20% off something or other they're also now part of the buy one get one free <laughs> so I love them so glad they're back in my life I had the rimless high key mini black fades and I just did not like them I didn't like the rimless not my thing these are beautiful okay so I'm gonna drop these off at my mom's house I do have of course I told you I have Peyton with me she slept for about an hour which is good for her right now we're, we're knee deep in the 18 month sleep regression that is so much fun let me tell you she usually will not sleep for more like nap for more than a half an hour um, at daycare her reports that were coming through said that she slept for two hours and she had been sleeping for two hours you know for months I don't know if that's right but um, yeah, so most recently, in the last few weeks, she's been taking a half hour nap. She'll wake up screaming her head off. Chad has been going in because I've been working. Um, I mean, he works too, but he's at home and I have classes and things that I, I just can't. Um, I don't know, my, my work is structured differently than his is. So he's able, he's doing the daddy daycare thing. And she, so she would sit you know, sometimes and fall asleep on the couch with him for a little bit, but otherwise she would have a half hour nap in her and then she'd go until like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. She would, we'd put, her, we'd put her down to sleep and she'll sleep usually for a couple of hours, maybe three or four, then wake up screaming her head off and she won't go back to sleep, she won't settle down. We try and put, we rock her and then um, try and put her back down and she will immediately wake up yeah, I'm talking about you. Um, so it's just been a lot of fun. And she sometimes will come into our bed at night. <sighs> Cute yawn. Um, if we're not able to put her back down, we'll just bring her in bed and she'll fall right asleep. So she's also teething her canines, her bottom canines. Um, I think top two, but the top have definitely poked through the bottom one of them has poked through now but um, those are coming in so it's just a barrel of fun at our house right now. <laughs> oh, so anyway she just woke up from a nap she's just looking out the window I love when she does that just watching the world go by mm -hmm. she's so precious beautiful. I was looking at her the other day and I just was, I almost cried. Was, she's just so beautiful. Anyway, random. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, let's talk about working out. Okay. So I have been, I need to, I have like 8,000 vlogs it feels like to pull up, but I have been filming my workouts and I recently finished on Monday, April 6th. I think so was that a Monday I finished four weeks of the prep and then I was you know my plan was to move into the work six weeks of the work I've done two workouts from the work and I have to say I feel like I don't belong there's no modifier um, which is usually my, my lifeline in these things um, I can do some stuff, like I can do burpees full out and I can do, um, you know, some other things, but a lot of stuff I still need to modify for. I, I don't do a full push up, I, you know, do them on my knees or there are some moves. I did the leg workout from week one and oh my gosh, that is where I really felt like I did not belong. Like there was a lot of stuff that I felt like I couldn't do just because of my size. Um, and you know how heavy I am it's really difficult to jump up and switch legs and do all these crazy things uh, so like, and I'm not super fit and obviously everybody in the video is so it just felt yeah I didn't feel 
real great about it. It definitely was not my favorite. I was not a fan of that workout. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm considering switching programs um, to maybe lift four. Leanne keeps telling me I need to do lift four. And I watched a sample workout and I think she is right because it's, it's the stuff that I like. I like a little, little bit of weightlifting. I, but I do also like the HIT workouts. Um, so kind of like Bikini Body Mommy. Bikini Body Mommy was a lot of that too. It was kind of a mixture of, of, of lifting and um, hit. So I think I might do lift four. It's four days a week though. Um, so my health bet is I have to, I, I did another health bet, $10 buy-in this time. $10 buy-in this time. Um, and I have to drink Shakeology every single day. So still got to do that today. I didn't do it for breakfast. And you have to work out five days a week. Well, if lift four is four days a week, I have to find another workout for the fifth day. And I think I might try to do Transform 20 again. I love Transform 20. I love Shanti. So maybe I would do that. Maybe, maybe. That's what I'm thinking about anyway. I don't know if I want to suffer through the work right now. I mean, it looks super fun. Not, not super fun. Super, ah. It looks like really challenging, but I like that. And I like when it looks like I'm going to sweat a ton and be breathless at the end and that sort of stuff. But I don't know. I can't right now. It gets just really discouraging when you can't do everything that they're doing or even half of what they're doing and that was the leg day for me. Which is weird, it's leg day. You think you're just squatting, lunging, doing all that sort of stuff, but you're not in this one. So that's the plan, I think. I think I might try and just do lift four. Molly in my destroyed office. Um, I didn't obviously talk to you guys on the way home from my parents' house. Um, so I just wanted to close it out, kind of not leave it so disjointed. I apologize. This whole time is just weird for vlogging. I forget to finish videos and it just looks funky for you. But um, saw my parents. I really went to drop off those cookie kits, which you know, it was a great, um, a really great side hustle. And I hope I can get them going further for like other reasons, not just Easter. Um, I had to take a nap at their house because I was so exhausted. And that's really it for that weekend. Um, of course, I'm going to have videos coming up with my just body vlogging and some workouts um eventually I'm gonna get back into like full what I eat in a days I know I, I realize that I'm not doing those fully um so I I definitely want to try to do that going forward but I have all of this back footage um that I just want to get out there for you guys because I recorded it and you know even though it's practically useless um maybe you need something to watch now so Okay, so that's the end of this video. I will see you shortly for another one with some random footage in it. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> see you soon.